guys welcome to online web tutor presented by profit extensions team i am sanjay we are learning about the upgraded playlist of wordpress widget development this is our part number two inside this video session guys we will see about widget class overview as well as its declaration if i pack to admin panel now as we know that inside this appearance we have a sub menu called widgets inside these widgets all we know that inside this we have several types of default widgets actually provided by wordpress if suppose we want to register our custom visit then that visit also list inside this list so first of all developing of a custom visits let's understand about how can we find the definitions of these widgets inside directory structure so if i back to project folder now this is wp hyphen visit this is all about the project setup and as we know that inside this setup we have wordpress installed so by default these are the files and these are the folders actually wordpress provides here we have folders called wp admin wp content and wp includes so if we go inside wp includes folder this is the folder which is responsible to contain all all of the core functions as well as core classes files now inside this folder if i search about class wp widget.php now this is the class we need to extend this class to make our custom visit or let's say register a visit inside wordpress inside this class we have few methods by the help of those methods actually we can override into a child class file and make our custom visit if i back to admin panel now here we have several default provided widgets let's see about where we can find the definition of these widgets first back to directory now inside the same folder wp includes we have a folder called widgets inside this we can find all about class wp nav menu widget.php if i open this file inside this this is the name called navigation menu if we go here and control f let's search about navigation menu and this is the widget all we can find the definition inside this file if suppose we want to find all about let's say for the recent comments back here and search here for the recent comments and here we can find the class file if i open this file we can see that this is the class which is extending wp visit and this is the main class file which is used to register a visit inside wordpress now inside this this is the name called recent comments so all we have inside this widgets folder all we have the definitions of these default widgets actually the wordpress provides now let's see that what is the basic structure to define a child class means a register custom widget class how can we define and how can we use our default methods so first of all i am going to open this project to an editor and this is the sublime editor we are using now inside this this is the folder now go inside wp content as we know from the first video that is we are going to make a plugin by the help of plugin we are going to register our visit inside wordpress setup so go inside plugins so right now this is the plugin as we can see it means that go to wp content plugins and these are the plugins available so inside this i am going to make a folder let's say that a folder something let's say wp visit inside this folder if i back here here we have the folder and inside this folder i am going to create a file something let's say wp visit dot php and inside this file if i open this file into sublime editor and here is the file now inside this file let's declare our php tag and i am going to create first of all we need to introduce about plugin comments so let's say that plugin name here we need to write call let's say owt wp visit here we need to provide the description so let's say description this is a widget plugin which creates wp visit 
file activation here we are going to provide like author name so author if we want to provide some version so let's say version is something 1.0 so this is all about the plugin introduction now let's declare our custom widget class so here I am to declare custom widget class let's say that class something let's say my widget extends and as we know that if we want to register our custom widget we need to extend the class called WP widget why we will understand in a bit back to editor let's say that WP underscore widget and this is our class so first of all I am going to make a constructor here so let's say public function let's say construct inside this we have also other methods we need to use so what are those methods first of all we want a widget layout inside admin panel so for that we have form method this method is responsible if I type a single line comment this method is able to create front end sorry it's admin end so this method is able to create admin panel layout for backend it means that it is going to provide a widget layout inside admin panel which we can see right here inside this widgets list back to editor now the next method we need to use called for the update let's say update method this method is used to update or let's say save update data while we save data from visit to database it means that let's say that we are going to provide some information if you open this recent post here we can pass like about title here we need to select or put some inputs so while clicking on save button it is going to save this information inside our database so update method is used to save our data inside our database table the same method is used to save for the first time as well as for the next let's say we want to update that now the next method we want to use something for the front-end layout so it is something we have a widget method so let's say widget method this will provide this will provide a layout for front-end means let's say that we have some layout if we go here as we can see that this is our search widget this is our recent post and as we know that this is used in inside footer one area if we to go its front end and we can say here that is this is our search which is a layout inside this front end here we have recent post recent comments so this is all about front end layout so the front end layout is available when we use widget method so after this construct method we need to use a form method update method as well as widget method so how can we find the definition of these methods these methods are not the methods actually we are going to define inside this widget class these are the methods already defined inside this class we are going to override the definition of that if we go inside this class file something class WP visit and inside this if I search for let's say widget and inside this documentation or let's say comments we can see all about the detailed so here inside this comment we can see that member functions that must be overridden by subclass so in the same way this is our subclass we want to override this class by the help of these methods if we back to slide now same this is the way to represent our widget inside front end now here inside this we have called form method so if we search for that and here we can find all about the admin layout 
So by the help of this form method, we are going to make a layout inside widget section. So this outputs the settings of update form. Now the next, we have called update method. So if I search for the update, and here it is. Now this is the method which is used to update our data from widget to our database. Now finally, after declaring all these methods from here, we need to make an instance. So let's say that my visit equal to new and here we need to call the class. By calling this class, we are going to make our custom visit. Now inside this construct function, we need to use a action hook. That action hook which is used or is a trigger when we are going to execute this visit method. So inside this construct method of this subclass, what I will do here first, I am going to inslice all about the parent constructor means constructor of this class constructor and inside this we need to pass our visit name as well as visit ID. So we will see all about these settings in the next video. All about the action hook that is we need to use. Let's add action and inside this we need to call widgets in it. And inside this we are going to use a function that is register visit. So I am going to declare a function, this is anonymous function and inside this function all we have to do, we need to call a function something register underscore visit and inside this we need to call the class and this is the class what we have defined called my visit. So by making this instance, it means right here by this instance this class is calling itself and this class has a construct. Now inside this construct, it is going to define or inslice all about the parent constructor and here we are registering our visit. So inside next video, we will see all about this form method, update method as well as widget method. By completing all these process like following this form method, update method, widget method, we are going to make or register our custom visit inside WordPress panel. So inside this video session guys, actually we understood all about default widgets classes as well as core class as well as we had defined our custom widget class and all the methods and the rules we understood clearly. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.